hi welcome back to my channel my name is alice rita to all my new subscribers thank you for coming to watch this tutorial and to my returning subscribers thank you for coming back i'm glad you always come back to watch my tutorial today i'm going to show you how to quantify your image and it doesn't matter if you're having a western blot with a protein to quantify or a polyacrylamide gel like the image i'm showing here from pcr it's the same process that applies to both type of uh, gel uh, quantification. And if your gel image is in a black background and white band, and you prefer to work with a black and white image, it's fine. If you want the type of my gel, if you want your gel to look like mine, you can easily go to loot, invert loot. You see, it changes the color. If you invert it again, it changes this again. So add your color of your gel does not really matter for the quantification. And in order for us to do the quantification, we need the rectangle selection tool. With the rectangle selection tool, you can draw on your gel. You can draw the band on your, draw the, the, this blue rectangle, draw it around the, uh, the band of, on the gel. And then you go to analyze gel and select the first lane. After we selected the first lane, you can note, if you look closely, you can see that it assigned number one to that band. And that's because we selected this as our first lane. This has duplicated the rectangle tool. So we just drag this to our next band. And if I do this, it seems I have to repeat this because the second band is uh, bigger in size. It's wider in size than the first one. So I will just go to gel and reset. So that way I can start again, start afresh. So I'm going to select the first lane again, drag this to the next one to select our next lane. Note, if you repeat, if you selected first lane again, it will override the selection of the first lane. And that's why you have to use the select next lane. I'm going to do this for four different bands. So now we have these four different bands that we want to quantify. In order for us to quantify this, we just go back again to analyze gels and we click on plot lanes. What the quantification has done, what the plot lane has done is to plot each of this band to plot the peak. Don't worry that the peak has been uh, plotted in an inverted format. It does, it's still going to do the same function. So you can see the peak of this first one See the peak of the second one, it's stronger than you can see from your from the gel image itself. And the last one you can see, which is the, uh, the weakest uh, band, you can see the peak also is uh, smaller in size. The next thing we want to do is to use a line tool to connect the base of each of these, the base of our, of our peak. So all you have to do is to draw a connecting line that has to touch. This line must touch if it doesn't touch, you will get error message and I will troubleshoot that with you in a few minutes. So let's just do this. It doesn't matter if your line exceeds the, if it exceeds the connecting point, it's better for them to touch than not to touch. So now we've drawn these four lines and the next thing we need to do is to select our wand or uh, magic wand or tool. With the magic wand, when you click inside the peak, it recognizes the peak and it stops the quantification at the base. You can see this yellow line around the peak. That is the size of the first band in area. When you click inside the second one, can you see it also recognizes the peak and it has given us the size as well. Do this for the third one and for the fourth one. Can you see that the fourth band which is the weakest one among the bands we are quantifying. You can see the number, the value is lower. And the second band that has the strongest signal, it has the highest number. It's as simple as this. 
But in order, let me quickly troubleshoot this for you so that you can understand if you are having a weird quantification in your gel. Sometimes we make a little mistake and it's normal for us to make mistake, but just watch this last, uh, I'll make it in one minute so that you can see what I meant by uh, connecting the gel. So I'm going to, you can save the value for the first one. If you need the issue, you can, you can save this as a CSV. So if you click as save as, it will save your quantification as a CSV and then you can open it in Excel. Okay, let me quickly troubleshoot the problem that you can, uh, uh, that can, like you can come across when you are doing your gel quantification. And this is plot lane. I'm replotting, okay, because I've used this before, so I couldn't. I'm going to, I have to select the first lane again. So that's our first lane. In this weak signal, I'm going to select this as our second lane. So I'm going to stop at two in order to not take much of your time. And then I'm going to plot lane. You see, after I've plotted the lane, I had the peak for both. So one common mistake that is easy to make is when you're doing your quantification, this line must touch. If it doesn't touch in the second one, imagine this gel is our weakest gel, uh, weakest uh, signal, but the line is not touching. When I do the quantification, you will be surprised at what will happen. So when I click on the rectangle, you see selected, the yellow line is drawn only on the peak. If I click again on this one, it didn't select the rectangle, rather it selected the whole uh, rectangle. And that's why if you look at this quantification, which is really obvious. If you look at this quantification, you can see that the first, the first uh, peak, which is even stronger in size, has a lower quantification value compared to the one with the peak with the lower, uh, with the lower, with the lower, uh, with the lower signal. See the value for this, it exceeds the first one. And why is that? It's because it has not quantified the peak, but rather quantified the whole the quantification in the old uh, rectangle. So please, when you are doing your quantification, try to avoid this mistake. It's easy to, to make that mistake. It doesn't matter if your rect if your line tool exceeds the peak, the, the touching peak, it doesn't matter, but they must touch. If they don't touch, you will get this kind of error and then your quantification will be completely wrong. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have found this useful, please like this video, share with your friends and until next time, Bye.